Hello everyone. So I'm here with my laptop and I have to make some Black Friday shopping. I have to do a split screen, which I just had to like look up. I don't I can't believe I didn't know how to do it, but I'm doing a split screen because I'm so stressed. The Stanley drops, the Black Friday Pink Stanley need, first of all, is also dropping at the same time as the base. A base carry-on is gonna be a hundred bucks. So we'll see what happens, but for, I've done a lot of my Christmas shopping. I've pretty much gotten it all done. So I'm really feeling pretty good right now at the moment. So I just have a couple more people that I don't know what to get them. So yeah. Dude, look at this sh In line, look at 29,000 in line. And then this one, I think I'm gonna get through. Thankfully, Stanley's a little bit better than friggin' base. What the hell? I think they said they had a thousand for base. <laughs> and I'm 29. <laughs> Bruh. Um, yeah. I don't know what happened, but the estimated wait time went from one minute to, hmm, now it's 12 minutes. So I'm pissed. And this is not getting any better. I'm telling you, the world we live in is sick. And it refreshed, and I had one minute. You saw that I had one minute. She got it, she got it, she got it. But I was in line for 15 minutes, which is annoying, but at least I got it. So you know what? I don't mind waiting if they've got enough and they obviously stocked a ton. So shout out to Stanley, okay? Shout out Stanley. I feel like they're just doing it right this year. Good morning, everyone. Well, I was scammed yesterday. Black Friday scammed, okay? I received some insider information that there was gonna be a big sale, like big deal drops going on during the football game, okay? And I was like, okay, I think this is kind of a good idea if they do it right. Like if the deals are truly really good, like this is what I was imagining. I thought it was gonna be, they were gonna drop sort of like Black Friday you know, that we know and love kind of deals where it's so discounted. If they did something like that where you're watching a football game and then they drop something where it's like $300 off or 80% off an item or something. If they did something like that and then it was a lightning deal and you only knew about it because you were watching the game, then I think then that it would be worth it. And I kind of thought that that was what, you know, the discounts might be. So I see that at the end of the game, they're dropping a Dyson deal. And I had heard from a couple people that the Dyson might be going 200, the air wrap might be going $200 off. So I'm like, oh cool, it's gonna be $200 off and I'm gonna get it because I've been really wanting the air wrap again now that I've got like extensions and I wanted to do my hair like kind of like that blowout look, I like that look. So, and I wanna give it another shot, right? So I'm like, okay, if it goes to $200 off, I'm going for it. Like this, it's my time to shine. and. They were teasing Dyson deal at the end of the game, Dyson deal at the end of the game. Okay, so I sit through this entire Miami Dolphins and Jets game, which was horrific. The game ends, I'm, I'm like falling asleep, I'm nodding off, you know, this is my time. I've got my computer open and ready. The, all the Dyson air wraps went $100 off for Black Friday, which is like, that's not even a good deal. Like even on the Dyson website, it was only $100. I'm like, give us a little more. We need a little bit more than that. So the deal drops and it was only $20 additional on top of the $100 off. So it was $4.79. And the deal only lasted until the end of the day. <laughs> How is it, that's the deal I waited for? We were crying, laughing on the couch that I had like basically got bamboozled. Like, I was so ready to, for this and I was like, I'm like Jarvis, you don't understand. My sources are telling me it might be, there's rumors swirling, it might be $200 off. No, no, it wasn't. So I'm annoyed, I'm annoyed, I'm annoyed. I am pissed, but I ordered so much stuff yesterday. It's actually not funny. Okay, it's not funny anymore how much I ordered yesterday. But I got like 90, 5% of my shopping done. I'm desperate to do a haul, but I don't want other people to see what I got. So we'll see what ends up happening. But I also have a huge haul of stuff I bought myself, as you know. Hello, oh my God, I have to show you something. I'm sitting down here to do a haul. I figured why not? I've got the huge setup here. So, um, okay, I bought this because I was kind of mentioning that I wanted to get into, you know, 
maybe some felting or something. So I bought this like little felting wool cat, like you can make cats out of it. And they were looking really cute. So I was like, okay, I really want to do that for crafts. And just do, I like to buy like little starter kits. Well, I made my first one and my model, that was my inspiration back there. Are you ready to see this? I think it actually came out cute. <laughs> I mean, it actually came out so cute and I think it actually looks like him. It's kind of looks like a frog a little bit, but I mean, so cute and he kind of has like a, it looks like he's a mustache but there he is so that's boo i think it's so fun this would be a good diy homemade gift or something if you want to do something cheap because this was maybe 12 bucks for this three pack i think this would be a really cute and it's easy and like you can't mess it up because if you do mess it up it's kind of you can there's ways to fix it, but anyway, that came out cute, so that's a good idea. I have a huge Ulta haul. So I actually ordered this before Black Friday, but the deals this year were, all of them were before Black Friday. <laughs> so like they started them like two weeks in advance. I'm like, okay, so whatever. So I ordered some stuff. So this is the little uh, gift with purchase, which I will say the bag is super cute. I mean, these are never worth it but I like the star detail, I think it's cute. So I will re-gift the bag for sure. And I'll probably end up re-gifting this as well. <laughs> but it's just a little, cute little Ulta gift. I mean, maybe good for like a teenager or, you know, somebody like that. I'm just personally, I'm not gonna use that makeup, no offense. No offense, it's just not for me, but I do like the bag and I like to get a gift with purchase, so I'm not complaining. So then I got this. This was the buy one, get one free. So new dry shampoo, Unlock. That's just my personal favorite and it's just affordable. I feel like dry shampoo is one of those things where I don't want to fall in love with one that's really expensive because you repurchase it so often. So I'm glad that I like the Batiste one and I genuinely do. Whoa, this just fell out. But I got the Too Hot, Too Hot palette and I think this is super cute. I just have fallen in love with these like five pan eyeshadow palettes. Is this not so pretty? So the only thing I'll say is that there's something about this packaging where it doesn't stick down, like they didn't glue them down enough and sometimes they wanna pop out. I can tell this one wants to maybe pop out a little bit, but I just thought this was so cute and it was like 10 bucks. So kind of a cute stocking stuffer idea as well. And it's a good color story. Okay. Um, I also got the e.l.f. Halo Glow setting powder and I got it in the shade Rose. So it's kind of like that pink color, kind of like the Huda Beauty. Huda Beauty has like a rose one or a pink one that's going viral right now, which I kind of want, not gonna lie, but I figured I would try this one out because I do like the e.l.f. Halo Glow setting powder, I really do. So I figured, okay, let's try it. Okay, so I got that. I don't know if that was on sale though, but let me see if I have anything else that's not Milani because I have mostly Milani in here, not gonna lie. Okay, so the rest is gonna be Milani, but I, I also got another one of the Essence uh, Lip Pencil in Legendary. Oh my God, this is actually a legendary shade. So pretty. It's just a nice kind of like neutral, pinky nude, oh, the best. And then I also got this and this may be a dupe. This may be promising, okay? This may be a dupe for my cover girl, let me just do a little swatch. Okay, no, it's not, probably. Eh, maybe it will be, I don't know. It's pretty, it's in the shade number 10, Naughty. So I feel like, have I bought that before? I don't know. Then let's get on to this. So I wanted to get Milani, Milani was all 30% off and I really wanna do like a full face of Milani because I really like their complexion products. So I got another one of these because I had to, because it was 30% off, so. I got another one of my favorite foundation of life. And the reason why I was really interested in getting more Milani is because I was watching, once again, the Lipstick Lesbians. And she was doing a, she was talking about Milani and she was saying that for the drugstore, they're one of the best drugstore brands because they actually have like a lot of products that are actually made in Italy and stuff. And you never really see that at the drugstore. And then I looked in the back and I'm like, oh, this is made in Italy. Like there is a lot of stuff made in Italy. So I'm like, oh, cool. So I also got the Conceal and Perfect Blur Out Powder. So I'm very excited to try that. I got it in the shade Translucent. 
So I love to try new powders. That's one of my number one favorite things to try, even though I just found the Huda Beauty, which is, I really shouldn't be buying anything else because that one's like perfect in my opinion. But anyway, I also got the uh, Milani Tubing Mascara, which I heard is really good. And one thing that the Lipstick Lesbian said as well is that tubing mascara really helps to hold your curl. Like it holds your lashes in place and uh, it's also easier to get off. Like you just take warm water and then it comes out in tubes and that's true. I tried it with the tartlet one. So yeah, let's try that out. Okay, then I got this Milani cream little blush. You know, it had some blush shades that I don't really have. So I wanted to try that. I got the Milani baked blush. This is once again, made in Italy. Made in Italy. So, and the Lipstick Lesbians was once again saying that Italy has, like, she can tell which formula, like, where it was produced. And a lot of stuff like Tom Ford and Charlotte Tilbury, stuff like that. Natasha Denona, like, those are all made in Italy. And she could tell that they were. Or maybe they weren't. I don't know which ones were. But anyway, so I wanted to try this one out. This is in the shade Dolce Perla 110. And then... I got another baked blush. This is once again made in Italy. And I ha don't have this shade. I have a lot of the other ones, but Dolce Pink. So I was like, okay, I wanna try that one out. And then I wanted to try out this. Let's see if this is made in Italy. It is Silky Matte Bronzing Powder. So I hope that this is gonna be dark enough. This is really, really light, but I can always exchange it for a darker shade. Then I got the Milani Make It Last Matte because I just get really bad, you know, in my T-zone, I needed to stay matte. Then I got three of these. So I got one of the Conceal and Perfect. This is their lightest uh, highlighter. I might return this, honestly. I'll try it first, but I might return that because it, it's just a little bit darker than what I thought. And then I got this, which this almost looks a little bit too light. So I'll try this out as well. That's a contour. And then I got this one, which is an under eye brightener. So this is in the shade 01 Rose. So I'll definitely try that one out, give it a go. And then the last couple things, I got the Milani Stay Put Liquid Lip. This is in like a really pretty pale pink shade. So I wanna, let me do a little swatch of this. Oh wow, that's actually a lot darker than I thought it would be. It's a little darker, but that's actually, actually no, that's a really pretty pink shade, I like that. And then um, I got these two from the uh, Ginseng Milani Supercharged Revitalizing Face Mist collection or whatever, like citrus collection. So this is a revitalizing face mist. I wanted to get kind of a moisturizing face mist, but I've already sprayed this. It's so citrus that I'm kind of like, I don't know if I like it. So I think I'm probably gonna return it. And then I also got this citrus lip balm, which I don't even know if I'm gonna use because if it, this is so, it's it's a little overly citrus in my opinion. So I'm gonna keep the receipt for some of these things, but I'm excited to try all of this. And um, that's one of my Black Friday hauls, technically hauls. So I will keep you updated. It's gonna be turned into the 25 million days of hauls because I bought so much stuff in the last couple days, like about yesterday basically, for sure. I got some great things and I got some deals like, you know, there wasn't a lot of deals, but there were certain things like on, you know, if you went to, not like if you're on Sephora, but if you went to like the actual website of places, you know, like Bobble Bar had $10 bracelets and just things like cute little, teeny little things that you can give people. So I thought that was great. And this is even better. This is a Black Friday haul. So anyway, uh, that's it. I'll keep you updated on the hauls, so. Hey guys, so I have a couple more things to show you. Some haul items. And I, I really, I'm sorry, I know I keep doing hauls and it's like really not a vlog, it's just more of a haul video. But let me just remind you, vlogmas are gonna be longer. I'm gonna vlog my full day, edit the full day. Like, But right now, I just do kind of shorter ones. <laughs> and I also just don't really feel well. Uh oh. So I just had some soup and I did a Zycam nose swab thing so i'm gonna try to edit this and then get to bed <laughs> try to do that whole situation so let me just show you what i got really quick and then i'm out of here so this is a danish dough whisk 
it's, but I've decided that I'm actually going on a diet. <laughs> yeah, that's weird that it's timed up right around Thanksgiving. I just, I have to go on a diet. I've been eat, just going, I've been out of control. I've been doing cookies every night, bread, homemade bread. Ho bread is my kryptonite, it really is. So I just, I have to cool it. So next week I'm gonna be going to the grocery store and it's gonna be called, it's gonna be a healthy haul. So I need to find some healthy meals to make, but this is the Danish dough. So you use this to like help with your dough, obviously, hello. I got more of this vegan omega-3. So that's for Jarvis, but that was on sale on Black Friday. Oh my God. This is one of the things that I'm most excited for, actually. So this is an 18 piece premium brush set, but these are the Amazon dupe brushes for the Makeup by Ariel that are on Morphe, or the Morphe ones that are $98. These were like 20 or something, but I heard that these are really, really good, and I'm always needing new eyeshadow brushes. This looks like a really nice brush for blending. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So I shall be using those probably tomorrow, honestly. Probably tomorrow. So that's exciting for me. And then finally, I'm the, the thing I'm actually the number one most excited for. This is from Bliss. It's from the Drench and Quench line, which my favorite moisturizer is from Bliss. And it was sold out on their website, this was. But they had it in stock on Amazon, okay? And it was on a Black Friday sale. So this is the Drench and Quench um, All Day Moisture Serum. It has four hyaluronic acids and amino acids. I'm gonna try this because my skin has been parched. And no matter what I do, no matter what facial moisturizer I use, I, nothing is working. Nothing is working. And I love this line and I love Bliss. And I'm probably, it's probably sold out for a reason. Oh, yep, I already like it. Yep, 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 mm -hmm. yep. I already like it. Oh my God, this is so good. Stop, oh my God. It gl glides on absolute dream. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. It's lightweight. Oh, wow, that's good. That's good. It even kind of like looks, let me put a little bit under my eye. You guys, I have to be, I have to come clean. It, I feel like, I, I mean, this to me is like the equivalent of me finding out that I accidentally ate a piece of meat or something. Because I realized today that the Tula, you know, that under eye balm that I'm obsessed with, that I love to talk about, I just talked about it in my video, saying what a great gift it would be, because I did love it. It has caffeine in it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Um, so yeah, not I'm not using that ever again. <laughs> I'm not using that ever again. Cause I was going to buy it for somebody. And I mean I still could because I'm the only one that's in, in my life that I know. I'm the only person I know that doesn't do caffeine. But I was gonna buy for somebody and then I was like looking at the slides of whatever and I saw that it had caffeine. Oh my God, I literally feel sick to my stomach. <laughs> so anyway, okay, that's it for me today. I gotta go. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye, leave a like, subscribe, bye.